Hello dreamers, welcome back to my channel. I hope all is well. Happy New Year. Um, I got this new planner this year um, just to kind of use it for YouTube specifically and just coming up with ideas. I got it from Muji and um, yeah, it was inexpensive. I think it was below 10 bucks. Um, I had a 10% off so I was able to use that. And yeah, uh, this video is my fountain pen collection. Um, I've acquired many fountain pens this year and last year. Last year mostly. I haven't gotten any new fountain pens this year, but I have made a list of some that I might like. I really enjoy the use of fountain pens and um, I kind of want to have one for every ink. I know that sounds so bad, but it's what i want i hope you guys enjoy this video and give it a thumbs up if you like and also subscribe to my channel for more videos This is my folio from Gallon Leather. I got this um, about one and a half years ago and I absolutely adore it. I love it. Um, it keeps a lot of fountain pens but also some stickers when I'm on the go. Usually I used to do a lot of coffee um, shop dates with um, journaling friends and stuff so my folio came very convenient for that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> I have these three. These are my Eco, Eco Twist B pens. The balloon was my second fountain pen ever. And I really like these. Um, the pink one is an, a, fi a medium nib, actually. And the white and blue one are extra fine nibs. I usually go for the extra fine or fine nibs, but I do own two medium nib fountain pens that you know just to have a little bit of variety but fine nibs and extra fine nibs especially are usually my go-to i am in love with these fountain pens um they're very easy to clean um i'm trying here to focus the camera but it's not working it's not i was hoping but <laughs> um it's a really good nib uh the blue pen is about three years old, the white pen is about two years old, and the pink one is actually um, a gift. It was a hand-me-down. So yeah, these last pretty long and I really like them. Both my pens I got from Yoseko Stationery. This is my Faber-Castell Extra Fine Nib pen, uh, fountain pen, which I got at Barnes & Nobles. I have to order more replaceable inks because I don't have a converter for it. Um, but I really do like this fountain pen. I love how fine it is and um, the color. I also like the little grips that it has. Very easy to write. This next fountain pen, as I'm doing the voiceover, I forgot which fountain pen this is. It's a Sailor fountain pen. It's one of their cheaper fountain pens. Um, I think I paid about 15 bucks for this one. I'm going to put the link below. Um, I, have, I bought a converter for it. It's not my favorite fountain pen, I'll be quite honest. Um, it's just very different the way it writes, but I've gotten used to it. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't quite love it. These are my palette Kakuno pens. Um, this one's my very first fountain pen with the blue top. It is a fine nib pen. 
Um, I use the Pilot uh, inks for them. I'm just taking out these inks because some of these fountain pens I haven't used in a while. In a while. Um, but yeah, this was my very first fountain pen. I got it with my closest friend um, and journaling friend, Sue. So it's very special to me. This is um, the Extra Fine Nib. Uh, it's a clear Kakuno pen. I absolutely adore it. I got that one at Kinokuniya down in Bryant Park. These are the inks that I use for the Pilot pens. Um, I have a sepia, a sepia, and black ink. Those are my go-to colors. This pen, <laughs> my rose gold fountain pen, my Lamy, my first Lamy pen, um, a gift from my close friend Sue, a very generous gift. I absolutely adore this pen. It writes beautifully. Um, I have a converter for my Lamy's. Uh, for that Lamy pen and I love it <laughs> definitely an investment but I love it this was a hand-me-down fountain pen it's a, a pencil and sketch pen that's all I know I don't know the brand please if you recognize it comment down below and let me know but this pen is is nice I don't quite like it because it's a lot thicker than what I'm used to even though it's a fine nib um, the ink flows a lot um so i don't know it's a little different of an experience this is my second lamy pen well my first purchase of a lamy pen um it's a medium nib surprisingly but it writes really nice i don't have a converter for this one yet um so i just use um an ink i have the midnight blue kind of ink in there right now this is my pilot metropolitan pen it's also a medium nib this is my second medium nib pen i love it because it's the first fountain pen that i got with my boyfriend so he has um a fine nib black like a nice steel like kind of black pen and i got this one so it's a little special to me and we got it both at yaseka this is my second favorite pen <laughs> uh, this is the koweko sport uh, extra fine nib pen. I have a pink one, which I left at work, unfortunately, but I do have a converter for this one. Um, this pen is absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, writes beautifully. The ink flows um, very nicely, lasts long, and very easy to clean. Um, yeah, I'm so excited. I, I think this is my second favorite type of fountain pens, the Koweko Sport Pens. I really want the Macchiato color. Um, so let's see. Maybe next video I'll be using it. Uh, these are my inks. Um, these are a hand-me-down. I usually really love uh, green inks a lot. This is from, um, I believe it's called Inkables. Um, yeah, I really like it. This one I got at Harry Potter World. It was my first green ink. I absolutely adore it. And I also got this wax seal from it, which I like because you get to unscrew the seal so you can keep using the same thing and just add different ones to it. Um, but yeah, they have like a whole like letter section and writing, which I like. These two Sailor inks are my absolute fave. It's like a light plum and then a light, um, a dark gray one. It's the Shikiori um, inks. I adore these two. I got them at Yoseka. I'm constantly using those two. This is uh, Dr. Phil's iridescent um, ink, which I got for free. <laughs> um, I didn't pay anything for that now that I remember. I forgot where I got it, but it came with um, something. This is a pumpkin ink. Um, again, it's from, it was a hand-me-down. <laughs> so a lot of the hand-me-down inks, I'm not sure where they come from. These are my Yoseka ink samples. Yoseka has an ink sample system. I absolutely adore them. These are actually glass bottles um and you get to reuse them so once you finish them you send them back after 10 and you send them back to your seca and you get one free refill um or different type of ink it could be 
I have um, two popcorn. That's the color of the ink for Ferris wheel and then two candied apple. And then I got these inks, which I adore, hoping that the camera will focus, waiting. Uh, there we go, okay, sort of. It's the Gaki Nori inks, I believe. Um, I have their apricot tea. I have, let's see if the camera loves me. No. Mm. Yeah, basically this is slumber. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sort of, kind of, slumber. And then I have Lichen, which is a nice olive green and has become my favorite ink. And I think I'm going to purchase a full bottle of it. That's how much I love it. So I love these samples that I get to kind of go ahead and test them out and see if I want to purchase full bottles of inks um these inks are actually um a sagittarius line <laughs> my best friend got it for me for christmas this is um a glass dip pen i was so excited when i saw this i'm extremely happy it's an extra fine um she knows that i like extra fine um writing tools <laughs> um but yeah the colors have glitter which I absolutely adore, and they're supposed to kind of very give this galaxy kind of look. Um, I love them. They write really well. It comes with this little uh, pen stand. Um, but yeah, I love it. So far, the purple ink is my favorite. That's the one I'm taking out right now, but all the other ones I love. I definitely have to find somewhere to store my inks. If anyone has any suggestions, please leave a comment below. Um, I would absolutely love that. This is like a pinkish one. Then we have a green one. You have to shake it very well in order for the glitter to kind of spread throughout the ink. A blue one, turquoise kind of color. And then lastly, a black one with like gold shimmer, which I haven't tried yet. This was also a gift for my secret Santa at my office, which was actually one of the doctors that I work for. It's another glass pen set with a whole bunch of inks i thought they were solid colors but they're actually all glitter and um, it comes with a little um glass for when you want to dip your pen in either water or slash or ink it comes with a medium and a fine nib so i have the complete collection i have an extra fine a fine and a medium size glass pen my collection's complete i'm so happy for these um gifts i really am grateful
I'm not going to test this out in front of you. This is the one that my best friend got me, the extra fine nib, and I'm just going to dip that in the red and just write with it. Smooth as butter. <laughs> oh my god, this is writing so smoothly. I was really shocked trying it out because I was very worried. Um, I ha I've owned a glass pen before, and I don't know if it's I didn't know how to use it. I didn't. It, it just wasn't working for me at all so um i'm gonna dip it again but i could have lasted longer it was just me being afraid that the ink wasn't going to last so i redipped. um but wow i absolutely adore this i'm using um tomoe river paper which is really good for fountain pens and inks um and i got a whole set of it because I have an A6, no, sorry, an A5, three, hold on, A5 six ring binder, which I use for reviewing books, movies, and music videos and music in general. Um, so look forward to those spreads soon and stuff. But yeah, I absolutely adore this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe, and in the comments below, please let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Um, I hope you enjoy this, and thank you so much. Have a happy new year. Um, I hope everyone is having positive thoughts and remaining as positive as they can be with the times that we are living right now. Um, thank you, be grateful, and just know it's a wonderful day, always. <laughs>